Well, I did a little short video the other day when we cut this truck apart, cut the back half of the frame off. Um, thought I'd kind of go over what we've done. Uh, we just used some six inch C channel, rebuilt the frame. Um, that's some shutters in the ceiling that blows when the wind blows. But uh, we rebuilt the frame out of the six inch C channel. We put some pipe in here for cross members, basically for an exhaust hanger and shock mounts where that it splices onto the frame up here. This section of the frame is bent. It's got a curve in it from the factory. Uh, what we did, we bent this piece up to cap the existing frame. Uh, it was kind of rusty up back here on this part, but I didn't want to cut any more off uh, because I needed kind of a level guide to get started from. So we was able to weld back onto the frame where it was more solid back here, welded it underneath and on the inside and everything. Got that attached up. And this frame then sets in just a little bit uh, more narrow than this section of the frame. And instead of having that bend, it's just got a little offset in it now. And that's all boxed in right here. This whole section's boxed in. Then this cross member from the factory has got a bend in it. Any of you that's used to these chivalets, it's got a bend. I just used a straight piece of pipe, raised it a little bit higher um, so that it would fit on the gas tank. Worked out perfect. Uh, I don't even know why they put a bend in them from the factory. I don't know why they just don't do it like we did here. Um, this piece here, uh, did bend it and just a piece of flat bar to weld back in to splice it that gives it a little rigidity sideways and makes it look better wasn't this wasn't exactly necessary but it, it works um everything else just bolts on uh drilled holes to bolt the bumper on brought the, the uh spring hangers basically you know your springs they stay attached in the front so back here in the back you just jack it up, get the height right, square up the hangers, mark your holes, and drill them. Pretty simple. Got the bed bolt holes cut out. Don't have the bed here to put the bed on. He, he took it off where he brought it. But uh, got to run the wiring and do a few little touching up, touch up projects on it. But uh, basically it's done. The uh, shots all back in place they had uh, their mounts had rotted and broke out on them so we didn't have shocks or anything on it for a while and uh, the rest of the frame from here on up is decent shape so it should last him a while everything's good and true good and square corner to corner any way you measure it it's exactly what it should be um, just be sure anytime you go to cut a frame off or do anything, you get good measurements before you do anything and document it on a piece of paper so that you know what everything needs to be when you put it back. Um, this is my second time doing a Chevrolet frame like this and it's worked out pretty good. The other one's still on the road as far as I know. It's been several years, a few years back, but, uh, just thought I'd show you a little final product and how it turned out. But uh, hope everybody's doing good, and we'll catch you on the next one.